LGBT people receive equal rights in employment, housing, visitation, hate crime, and bullying protections. It isn't about them or they. It's about us and we. And that's just it. It's time for all of us to Apart, we will crumble. And together, we will succeed. Why? Because each and every one of us are unique, worthy, and just. This movement is about that and the words sexual orientation and uh, gender identity to the non-discrimination policy of Idaho. Uh, right now, that because those words are not there, uh, anybody who is uh, lesbian, gay, transgender, bisexual, uh, intersex, queer, and our allies, in fact, uh, they are, we all, are in danger of losing our jobs, our housing, not being able to get jobs, as I have not been able to get them. I stand before you now, advocating, instigating, propagating, and proclaiming that today, it is time to add the words. orientation and gender, gender identity to the Human Rights Act of the state of Idaho, which affords protection to individuals based already on race, creed, religion, sex, age, and national origin. It's time today to add the words. I have many, many friends and family members that this legislation affects and I feel that it's very important for everyone to feel safe in the community that they live in and this would help that. 2007 there was an independent Boise State University study that was done that states that 68% of Idahoans believe that no one should be fired for being gay and they need to pass this legislation to protect all Idaho citizens. by it and, and people that I deal with and uh, in my community are affected by it, I see it. 
I see it every day. I hear the stories, and it just saddens me, absolutely saddens me that the state cannot provide for its own marginalized communities. And, and uh, gay, straight, you know, well, they're both sexual orientations, but uh, gays and transgender people are become second class citizens. There's only so much they can take from me. Yeah, they can take my job or they can take my freedoms, but at the end of the day, it's a personal choice and I'm happy with making that choice to be out, so no, I'm not really afraid at all. There, there are legislators in this building that have said there are not any gay or transgender people in my constituency. And that's a fallacy because they work with them every day. They're probably somebody in their family that's gay or transgender. And, but they're so afraid to come out. And they need to do the right thing. They need to stand up for our humanity and for our equality and take the high road. And that's what they need to do. Stand up. And do the right thing.